today. Okay. Uh, what? Say that. Straight. <laughs> Hi, class. How are you today? <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? My name is James. What's your name? <laughs> Alright, so the learning target for today is to solve multi-step inequalities. And once again, they're just like solving multi-step equations, except you have to remember that if x is on the right side, you have to switch it to the left and switch the inequality sign. And also, remember, if you multiply or divide both sides of the equation by a negative number, then you need to switch the signs. And then, of course, graphing it at the end. So those are the three things that are different from solving a multi-step equation. The rest are the same. So I'm going to do a few examples that are very similar to equations, just like when we did two-step. Uh, but slight differences because of the inequality rules. Let's get started. All right, so here we have a multi-step equation. Remember, follow the steps, if you still have those steps, from solving a multi-step equation. So, first thing is to combine like terms. So, again, if it helps, Put boxes around the variables, and circles around the numbers, and include the signs too because those are important. So. Now we only look at the ones that are alike on each side of the inequality sign. So we only combine the like terms on the left and then only combine the like terms on the right. We don't combine between the two. So the only like terms on the left side are plus 5 and minus 7. So the 2x drops down. And then 5 minus 7 is negative 2, so minus 2. And then less than or equal to. Then over here, 9x minus 5x is 4x. And then the plus 12 stays plus 12. Now we have variables on both sides of the inequality, so we have to find the smallest one, 2x, and bring it over. It's positive, so we subtract it. So subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. On the left side, that leaves us with just the negative 2, because the 2x is cancelled. And still no sign change, so negative, uh, so less than or equal to is still less than or equal to. We didn't multiply or divide by a negative number. Then right here, 4x minus 2x is 2x. The plus 12 stays there. And the plus 12 stays there. Now we need to bring this 12 on the other side. So it's positive, so we subtract it. So subtract 12 from both sides. That'll give us negative 14 is less than or equal to. Wrong color. Negative 14 is less than or equal to 2x, and then we need to get rid of that 2, so we divide both sides by 2. And that'll leave us with negative 7 is less than or equal to x. Remember, though, in order for us to graph it, 
the x has to be on the left side, and it's currently on the right side. So we need to switch it. So I'll bring this down a bit so we have more room. So if we want x on the left side, which we do, we need to change the direction of the inequality sign. So now it's got to be x is greater than or equal to negative 7. So remember, if we want to move x to the left, we need the sign to switch. Then we graph it. All right, so we find negative 7, and it's or equal to the lines underneath, so that means we have a solid dot at negative 7, so right here. And then it's greater than, so we shade to the right. So like I said, very similar to a multi-step equation. Just in this case, the difference was x ends up on the right, so we have to move it to the left and switch the sign. All right, one more example. All right, so now we'll start with this problem. First thing you want to notice is there's parentheses here, so we have to start with the distributive property. So we need to multiply the negative 3 by both terms in the parentheses. So negative 3 times x will give us negative 3x. And negative 3 times negative 6 is a positive 18. Remember, we multiplied the negative by that minus, which is a negative times a negative, it turns into a positive, so we change the sign to a plus. Then we write everything else the way it is. Plus 9 is greater than 36. Notice we didn't change the sign even though we multiplied by a negative number. You only change the sign when you're multiplying both sides by a negative number to undo something. So, now we combine like terms. So, variables in a box, regular numbers in circles. So, on the left side, we can combine these two. So, the negative 3x drops down. Then 18 plus 9 is 27. And that is greater than 36. Now, we need to get rid of this plus 27 here. So we subtract 27 from both sides, and that gives us negative 3x is greater than 9. So then we have to get rid of this negative 3 here. So we divide both sides by negative 3. And when you do that, it gives us x, but we need to change the sign because we divided both sides by a negative. So is less than negative 3. And then we graph it. So notice no line underneath, so it's not equal to. So open circle at negative 3. And then it's less than, so we shade to the left. All right, and that's it for that problem. Again, the big change here was dividing both sides by negative 3, so we had to change the sign. So if you were good at solving multi-step equations, you should do just fine at solving multi-step inequalities. Just remember those extra steps. All right, that's the end of this lesson. Once again, please make sure to take notes on the entire lesson and submit them right now to your backpack. Take a picture, submit it to your backpack. Do it now. 
Have a nice, have a good night.